Nicki Minaj and her husband Kenneth Petty are in the limelight again, but this time not for a good reason. Because Nicki Minaj's husband's rape victim, Jennifer Hoff, has chosen to tell her story on television for the first time because she is finally tired of being afraid. Hoff filed her lawsuit against the husband and wife on the 13th of August 2021. The incident was discussed in detail by Jennifer Hoff in an interview on The Real, as well as about the terrible dread she had when Kenneth Petty married Nicki Minaj. She said, He did something a long time ago and he had consequences that he was supposed to stick with. What they did to me and my family wasn't okay. It wasn't right and it doesn't matter how much money you have. It doesn't matter what your status is. You can't intimidate people to make things go better for you. And that's what they did. Nikki is the one who personally reached out to me in regards to helping her, helping them in this situation. And then the threats that I received because I kept saying no to every offer, to every suggestion. The last incident was when one of their associates put $20,000 on my lap. And I still kept saying no. Jennifer said that Nikki had contacted her and afterwards harassed her by sending people to her door to negotiate a price for silencing this matter, which she claimed was a violation of her rights under the law. To understand what actually happened, we need to go back some years. But before we move forward, please press the thumbs up button if you are enjoying this video. So, the case goes back to 1994 when Mr. Petty was 16, at the time of the alleged rape, which transpired after he forced Jennifer Hoff into a house at knife point, according to the lawsuit. Jennifer Hoff was also 16 at the time and reported the incident to authorities. Mr. Petty was detained that day and was accused with first-degree rape. He later pled guilty to attempted rape, according to Kim Livingston, a spokesman for the Queens District Attorney's Office. According to inmate records, he was imprisoned for about four and a half years in total. After Miss Minaj and Mr. Petty were arrested last year for having failed to register as a sex offender in the state of California, Miss Hoff, 43, and her family members began receiving messages from people claiming to be linked with Miss Minaj and Mr. Petty. According to the lawsuit, Miss Minaj and Mr. Petty are accused of harassing and intimidating witnesses, as well as of intentionally inflicting mental distress. It also accuses Mr. Petty of sexual assault and violence, alluding to a case that occurred in the mid-1990s. According to the lawsuit, a middleman offered Ms. Hoff $20,000 in exchange for signing a public statement rescinding the allegation. However, Ms. Hoff declined the offer. According to the lawsuit, at one point last year, Ms. Minaj called Ms. Hoff and said she had heard Ms. Hoff was willing to help out. Days later, Ms. Hoff and her family received an onslaught of assaulting calls and uninvited visits from people she mainly associated with a husband and wife. Ms. Hoff has been unable to work since May of 2020 as a result of extreme anxiety, paranoia, frequent relocation, harassment, and blackmails from the defendants and their associates. She is now living in seclusion for fear of retribution. In the lawsuit, Ms. Hoff claims that she was on her way to school on September 16, 1994, when she saw Mr. Petty, a boy she recognized from the area. Mr. Petty put a knife to Ms. Hoff's back as he took her to a home around the block, where Ms. Hoff claims he sexually abused her. Ms. Hoff escaped and went to her high school, where she informed the security officers who then contacted the police. She said in an interview that she was subjected to harassment and retribution in the neighborhood while her case was being pursued leading her family to compel her to attend a court hearing for Mr. Petty and ask that the charges against him be withdrawn, a request that was, however, rejected. According to the lawsuit, Mr. Petty had already agreed to a plea bargain at that time. According to the lawsuit, a number of encounters followed, in which Ms. Hoff or her household members were given inducements in exchange for dropping the case. $500,000 at one stage, $20,000 at another, with the added benefit of Ms. Minaj sending birthday videos to Ms. Hoff's little daughter. However, Ms. Hoff said that she declined all of these offers. She said in an interview that she never had shown interest in receiving a bribe, and that she was determined about not reversing her statement. Ms. Hoff said in an interview that she had told the middleman that the $500,000 offer was not good enough at one stage. She said she had been attempting to divert the discussion, rather than expressing an interest in a bribe at the time. Tyrone Blackburn, a lawyer for Ms. Hoff, said that Ms. Hoff's remark was intended to discourage that middleman from believing she would take anything. According to the lawsuit, Ms. Hoff was approached by a lawyer last fall representing Mr. Petty, who inquired about the possibility of writing a recantation letter for him. 
Ms. Hoff relocated three times in one year as a result of threatening phone calls and her own increasing anxiety. But now she has expressed everything and believes it is time to get out of fear. We don't know what happened, but clearly, Nicki Minaj and her husband will face some backlash. Well, that's all for now. Indeed, this is very shocking news for all of us to digest. This wraps up our video, but before you go, please share your thoughts about this case in the comments section. We would love to hear from you. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and press the bell icon too. We keep bringing you videos like this, so stay tuned and we will see you in the next video.